I want to redefine what salad means. It's not just about lettuce and leafy greens. There's unlimited amounts of possibilities. If I'm going to put my name on a salad, you better believe it's going to be delicious. I think flavor first, always. Let's do this. When you think of salad, it doesn't need to just be limited to lettuce or leafy greens. I'm turning carrots. That's just a fancy way of saying an even seven-sided football for consistent cooking. I used to have this chef that was so intense. He was so serious about his knife cuts and never satisfied with my turning skills. So I went home, I bought an entire bag of family-sized carrots, sat on my bed, learned how to turn. And you know what? It turned out okay. This is a hearty fall roasted vegetable salad. One of my favorites is butternut squash. Sweetness of the squash and cutting them into even large cubes are gonna give us perfect caramelization right around those corners. It smells like fall. I love using butternut squash. You can roast them like this, you can make them into soup. They're just so versatile. Thanks so much, Eva. Now check out this gnarly vegetable. It's a celery root. It grows underground and the celery grows on top. But there's actually way more flavor in the celery's root. I'm cutting batonets. Thick rectangular shapes looking like a french fry for even cooking and consistency. Remember when I said this is a roasted vegetable salad? We're all about building layers of flavor. Grapeseed oil, great for roasting and neutral in flavor. These are perfect as a side dish on their own, or I'm gonna let these cool and I'm gonna make a meal out of it. Mustard's gonna act like my emulsifier. Emulsion just means binding a fat and an acid and making sure they come together. Just like that. You can use peanuts or grapes or anything you have at home. I got pecans, cranberries, and of course some chives to finish. Now that's a roasted vegetable salad. Not a leaf of lettuce to be found anywhere. Missy, you gotta get in there. That celery egg is so creamy. Absolutely delicious. The flavors of the roasted vegetable salad blew me away. Such a simple dish, but executed so that each and every ingredient speaks for themselves. To 
To find the absolute best papaya, look for deep golden skin, feel for soft, tender flesh, but most importantly, smell the butt. <laughs> of the papaya, that is. It should be sweet and it should be pleasant in aroma. When I'm making a salad without the greens, nothing's better than a Thai waterfall beef salad featuring this perfectly ripened papaya. And check out these seeds inside. We call these jungle caviar. Now believe it or not, these will actually have the flavor and texture of black pepper. Making a Thai marinade, it's all about that balance of sweet, spicy, salty, and sour. Lime for sour. Chili for spice. Brown sugar for sweetness. And my personal favorite, fish sauce for salt. cooking flank steak. Flank steak is flavorful, it's juicy. Problem, it's a little bit tough. Solution, the papain in the papaya is a natural enzyme that tenderizes meat and is gonna break down this flank steak and make it soft. Marinade is in. Now it just needs a few hours to do its work. I got one marinated here. This doesn't even feel like the same steak. It's soft, it's tender. That papain has done its work. Now remember when I told you that the papaya seeds were gonna turn into peppercorns? That tastes exactly like papaya and peppercorns. When you're looking for a mortar and a pestle, you're really looking for heft. You're looking for that weight. Oh, it's so good. Oh yes, look at that caramelization. When it's treated correctly, flank steak is one of the best cuts of beef to grill. This is why I love flank steak so much. It's holding in all that juice, and you can just tell that it's super moist inside. Can't wait to cut into this.
Let's try some of this, Missy. Thank you, Chef. Mm. Now I call this Thai waterfall beef salad, but for me, it's all about that papaya. We used it in the marinade. We used it as the peppercorns. It's so delicious. It even tenderized the beef. It's amazing, Chef. Fantastic. Waterfall beef salad. What a unique dish. You get the spicy, the sweet, the salty, and to use the jungle caviar, peppercorn seeds. Unique and delicious. Two of the things I love the most. Here's another lettuce-free salad. This time, I'm using seeds and legumes. Millet is a seed that's packed full of protein and nutrition. I'm getting the millet coated in the olive oil to make sure it gets toasted and nutty. When I add this turmeric, it just blows up in color and in aroma. When you add chilies at home, you can feel free to add a little bit. Me, I like it spicy. I'm cooking this millet like rice, adding vegetable stock. The millet is gonna absorb and it's gonna get soft and fluffy. In my restaurant, we make our own vegetable stock with trims, but at home, feel free to buy some and just get the low sodium so you can control the amount of salt. And here's a cooked batch of millet now. Oh, that flavor. Soft and fluffy, taste the chilies, and that turmeric really comes through. Delicious. Every great salad starts with a great dressing. I've got tahini, 100% pure sesame butter. I'm thinning out my tahini with water. Funny thing about tahini is that when you add water, it's gonna start to seize up, but just keep stirring and they'll thin out to a salad dressing consistency. I'm adding garlic for flavor and lemon juice for some acid. Mmm, that's as nutty and as creamy as a Caesar salad dressing, but it's vegan. Now remember when I told you that this was a seed and legume salad? Chickpeas, packed with protein, tons of nutrients, and great for you. These chickpeas are crispy on the outside, but soft and fluffy on the inside. Zatar, one of my favorite Middle Eastern spice blends, made from sumac, thyme, oregano, and sesame. I'm seasoning the chickpeas while they're nice and hot so that it sticks. Here's a batch of cool millet. Thanks, Eva. I'm adding the sweetness of fresh tomatoes and the bright flavors of parsley, scallions, and mint. 
When you're using fresh herbs in your salads, don't be shy to just use a ton of it. It adds freshness and brightness to any salad. Look at those colors, the bright tomatoes, those fresh herbs, mixing with that fluffy millet. I'm building textures and I'm building flavors. Mm. I built flavor, I built texture, and not a single piece of lettuce to be found anywhere. You did such a good job with those herbs, with those tomatoes, fantastic. I have a restaurant in the Middle East and the flavors of the tahini and the sumac mixing with that millet brought me right back to Dubai. Everyone loves the fresh flavors of pickled cucumbers. I'm gonna show you a different way to make them you've never seen before. This is called a mandolin. In restaurant kitchens, it's better known as a finger slicer. The mandolin is efficient and makes even consistent slices. Look how long these slices are. I left the peel on the cucumber because it adds a contrast in color and I just really like the flavor. I'm making a quick pickle. That means all the slices have to be thin and even in size, just like this fennel. It's gonna give us a sweet, crunchy, licorice-like flavor. These shallots have the flavor of onion and garlic, and they're gonna provide a real depth of flavor. What makes this a quick pickle is that you don't have to do a hot brine ahead of time. You add the sugar, salt, and white wine vinegar right into the vegetables. Now that all the ingredients are in the bowl, you just have to give it a bit of time for the vegetables to soften and for them to absorb some of that brine. Halloumi is a Greek cheese from Cyprus. It has salty, briny flavor, and those quick pickles are gonna be the perfect complement. I'm searing the halloumi to get some caramelization and a golden brown crust. What I love about the halloumi is that it'll soften, but it won't melt. Check out this color. This is ouzo, high-proof alcohol with a licorice smell. I've been to thousands of Greek restaurants and I've always wanted to get the chance to do this. Opa! Thanks so much, Missy. My pleasure, Chef.
a little bit of pine nuts, and pomegranate seeds just to finish. Mmm! The brightness of those pickles match the halloumi perfectly. Salty and briny. I could cook and eat salads like this all day long. Great day in the kitchen, guys. Opa! Curiosity is so key in the kitchen. I'm learning something new every single day. A new ingredient, a new technique, and I learn from the cooks around me and the professionals in our industry.